What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Arvin Martinez, otherwise known as Mr. Martinez, and today we're going over overcoats. What's going on family? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're here on a weekly basis talking about men's style, men's lifestyle, stuff like reviews, and also stuff like just information about certain key pieces and even some grooming so if that's something that you're into definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as i mentioned before we're going to go ahead and talk about overcoats um i had a lot of positive feedback on my last video where i was talking about parkas so if you haven't seen that video definitely go ahead and look at the card up here and go ahead and get some information on some parkas we're going to go ahead and discuss one the history um, we're going to go ahead and talk about some characteristics we'll talk about fit and then lastly we'll talk about how to style them i'll show you guys uh just two different coats that I have. I have this uh, camel overcoat here from Indochino. I also have a navy one from Indochino and I'll just throw them on and you'll be able to go ahead and see both of those. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the history. Now this coat was invented in the late 18th century and it prevailed in England and it was mostly worn um, as a social status symbol. Um, it was used for more formal and military wear. So after the Average Joe started wearing it. We went into World War One, and then soldiers that were coming back from war were still wearing their stuff. So it continued to roll on and roll on and roll on. By the 1980s, uh, the overcoat had become super popular and it had basically become mainstream uh, for everybody. And then um, it came out of magazines such as Vogue and all that other good stuff. So it's kept evolving. And then as we saw, um, we started getting more into um, like the overcoats that just had heavy padding, oversized, stuff like that. Which is kind of what you see a little bit right now, just because people are starting to fuse that in. Uh, but for the most part, that's where we're at now in times. And I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a background of the overcoat. Just because I always like to know um, kind of where, you know, the stuff that I wear and like where it prevails from. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in some characteristics. I went ahead and put the coat up here just for display purposes um so again it is going to have this um <clears throat> three button front or it will have that double breasted aspect of it you are going to have your pockets now pockets can vary too just because people have like gotten a different style and companies now such as the nochino provide uh, people with different pocket styles so sometimes you'll see them patched on same thing goes again some people have the chest pocket up top now uh, some may or some may not come with it it all depends on the brand now on the inside sometimes you will see some overcoats that do have these um, lined with just another layer of fabric but um, you will see some that don't so like this guy right here I don't have this one lined um, this one's just the actual lining but it doesn't have any more insulation uh, you can get these with insulation on the inside as well so in that way it's just super warm for you now the biggest characteristic that you see on the overcoat is basically the length um, it is an overcoat so it's going to go over your suit jacket so it is important uh, to understand kind of length and your proportions i am a shorter guy i'm sitting at like five seven and my overcoat just goes and just barely grazes the top of my knee um, that's where i think my overcoat looks best for me. Um, some taller dudes that are like six feet and over could probably get away with doing something over the knee. And, you know, just for aesthetic reasons, some people like to have it like super long. So it's really up to you guys. But if you are a shorter guy like I am, please don't have the length so long. It's just going to make you shorter. Now, the jacket's also going to come with lapels. Now, the lapels can be whatever way you want. Um, I have notch on these. Um, but you can have like peak lapels if you wanted um, and it is going to be of a wool construction uh, these indochino ones are wool 90% um, wool and then 10% cashmere um, if you guys want to see a full like on overcoat review <laughs> definitely go ahead and leave a comment down below saying yes and then um, I'll go ahead and do a video exclusively on kind of like just the overcoat uh, that Indochino provides. Before we get into fit, just want to go ahead and mention for you guys to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My stuff will be right here. 
and on there i post daily content you know my outfits and of the day stuff like that but i also post on my story about the stuff that's coming up so if you guys want to be up to date on what's coming up on these videos definitely go ahead and follow me over there now as far as fit goes um it is very much tailored to your style um i see people that love to wear this very loose um not a lot of tapering in the midsection but i have seen a lot of guys wear slim fit and very form fitting so it's really up to you how you want it to fit i say go ahead and stick with just a moderate taper in your midsection make sure it defines you a little bit there make sure that the sleeves fit it should go over your wrist just a little bit and it should cover your, your suit jacket when you go in to get a you know an overcoat make sure that you bring your suit jacket with you like the one that you wear the most and then that way you'll be able to get the sleeve length right and then you'll also get like the length of the actual coat right the biggest part about fit as well is your shoulders make sure that the jacket fits on your shoulders if it doesn't fit there it's not going to look right plus you got to consider that if you are wearing an overcoat over a suit it's not going to fit that suit jacket under it especially if you're wearing like a herringbone or like a flannel suit on, underneath it it's going to be too bulky and you won't be able to fit everything under there so for the most part you want to make sure that the shoulders fit a little bit more loose don't make it seem like you're actually going to wear this just alone if you are just going to wear this with like a sweater and you want this for more aesthetic purposes then uh, functionality doesn't matter then it's okay just go ahead and make it fit your shoulders as is now as far as styling goes for the overcoat there's a billion different ways to style one uh, i'll show you guys like just two different ways that i usually wear my overcoat i'm just gonna wear it over this cardigan and then i'm gonna switch out i'm gonna change into like a denim jacket just to show you guys um that space that i was mentioning before and the fit so for the first look i'm going to be rocking the um camel overcoat uh, that'll be over the uh, cardigan that you guys saw in the video as well and then a white t-shirt under that and then just some raw denim at the bottom it's just a very classic look um just go ahead and wear this to any kind of shopping or like just get up and go stuff like that uh, both of these looks are going to be a little bit casual but i want to go ahead and stress more on the actual fit of the coat if you see there um, the length is perfect the length of the sleeves is good as well uh, the shoulders fit very nicely so again just kind of basing off of more of a functionality aspect and the overall kind of aesthetic of it because at the end of the day if you're not going to be warmer then you gotta reconsider your options for the second look we're gonna go ahead and change up the cardigan we're just gonna throw on a denim jacket this is probably one of my favorite looks and the reason why it's my favorite look is just because it gives it more of a depth to your look and it keeps you 10 times warmer as well um it looks really nice and i think that this is a really good look just to go out um if you're gonna go to a bar or something and then once you take off the overcoat you're gonna still look nice because you still have a denim jacket on so it's a really good option uh, for this um navy overcoat there might be a few characteristics that are a little bit different than my camo overcoat you want to make sure that everything fits uh the length on this guy as well is a tad bit longer than what i like and i actually might have that taken up a little bit so you guys have it um those are my tips a little history some characteristics of the overcoat if you guys like this video definitely go ahead and hit that thumbs up um definitely go ahead and hit subscribe if it's your first time here and go ahead and hit that notifications button to receive notifications every time i post a new video we are trying to ramp up we're trying to hit up 500 subscribers really soon uh, we're at like half right now and i want to appreciate all of you that are becoming a part of this family we are growing really fast so i want to thank you guys a lot for you guys that were giving me suggestions as far as like this video i want to thank you guys and i hope you guys in specific are finding this video very helpful because that's one of my main reasons if you guys have like a video in mind that you guys would want me to shoot definitely go ahead and leave that down in the description as well so thanks again and as always style up